long have the Stormcloaks terrorized the good people of Skyrim? And long has the war waged against them by the Imperials lasted? Every citizen of Skyrim has had a taste of the suffering brought by this civil strife. And that includes our hero, Joe Joman. The number one rival to Ulfric Stormcloak in a presidential race for the throne of the High King of Skyrim. The Stormcloaks have taken much from Joe, and an elephant never forgets. With his sights set on the winter hole to hold, Joe hopped in a carriage, prepared to continue his fight against the traitors. What are the stats looking like? We can do a quick scan through the skills. We're not looking too bad. We got a, a lot of ones in magic. Pulling 21 in enchanting, a massive eight for smithing. 49 heavy is pretty good. Our, our main combat stats, heavy armor and archery are doing good. We're up to 70 archery. 43 and two handed, 22 and one handed. Sneak's only 36, but it's not terrible. We got a lock picking up to seven. <laughs> kind of big. Speech 25. That sounded good. I don't really feel like dealing with the dragon right now, to be honest. Oh, never mind. Sounds like he's assaulting Dawnstar. Yeah, that's a that's a real shame. Sounds like a problem for the guards. Oh, that looks lovely. <laughs> what beautiful scenery. Hello, Leggett. I'm reporting for duty once again. Your objective is Fort Kustov. The rebels are keeping some of our men prisoner there. Oh, they have prisoners of war. Find a way to slip in, free our men, and take over the fort. They won't be expecting an attack from the inside. Okay. This is our prison break. Nothing I can't handle. Where did Jeffrey go? Jeffrey? Oh my god, look at him. He's trying to make an escape. Jeffrey! Jeffrey, wait! You, Jeffrey, don't get ahead of yourselves. Yeah, he was going to free the prisoners. He got his orders and he was ready. Oh my god, Jeffrey, close your eyes. It's gonna feel good to capture a fort with a bow and not a not a two-handed orcish sword. You can't say that you can't say the sword only this soon. <laughs> oh. What is that? Jeffrey? You gonna talk to him? Oh, <laughs> he told him to get out of the way. <laughs> um, can I do that? Oh, wait, shit, it's stuck in a bear trap. Oh, you poor thing. Unshackle and save the beast. You're free to go. Ow! Traitor! Should have just left that thing in the trap. Fist only? Guys, I don't think we would get anything done if we did fists only. I'm gonna be honest. Where are the men at? Oh, we're meeting the men again. Boy, do I love meeting men. Greetings, gentlemen. Is it Hadvar again? Can you believe this place? So cold my breath turns to icicles. What are we even doing up here? Hadvar, I have no clue what we're doing up here. We're outnumbered again. More so than when we took that wagon. But if we work together, we can pull this off. What's the plan? Last time your plan got me killed. There's a grate outside the wall. I need you to sneak in there and free our men, killing anyone inside as you go. Once you've rescued the prisoners, head out to the courtyard. We'll stand guard out here and pull off our men. Okay. You know what? I like this plan. I'm on it. Oh, Jeffrey took off. Oh, there, there he goes. Oh, we're freezing to death. Okay, well, we better get a move on and hurry inside. We gotta slowly walk because we're freezing to death. A very stealthy operation right now. There it is. Real quick, I gotta hop in here to remind you guys to subscribe and follow my Twitch. You might notice that these voiceovers sound different than the stream audio. And that's because I replaced my old mic. So from now on, I get to sound like this. Alright, back to Shawshank Redemption. Alright, man. It's gonna be another quiet operation here. Still a little chilly, apparently. I'm moving very slow. Oh. Okay. Well, the jig is up. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that was fast. I don't think I don't think those were the men we were supposed to meet. 
1500 bits to use the dagger on the guard's body. Are you, you're insane. <laughs> Do you want us to be in another fortress for 40 minutes? Because that's how that happens. So yes or no. Hey, you know what? We're gonna have some prisoner backup. I'll do it. Just to prove that Joe doesn't isn't made by his weapons, you know? Alright, I have the dagger in hand. I'm where where's the where's the bits at, Oshi? I'll put it away. Hey. Hello! It is I, Joe Joman, future High King. I've come to save you. Hey. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Let's go, boys. Wow, only 200. That's a scam. But you know what? Joe Joman ain't no bitch, though. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we're a little bit of a bitch. Man. Okay, well, you know what? 200 bits is kind of a scam. I'm pulling the bow back out. I think every prisoner we freed died. Oh my god. All right, men, try not to die. This is supposed to be a rescue operation for you. Be I feel like it'd be kind of a failure if everyone we rescued died. Ow. Dude, where is Hadvar? He's supposed to come running when we made it to the courtyard. Jeffrey, move. Oh, wait, there's Hadvar. He's 1v2-ing. Well, that wasn't too bad. And we actually saved some of the prisoners. Oh, yo, what is this horse ass up here? <laughs> yo, what the what the Jeffrey doing? <laughs> hey, you guys want to see something funny? All right, hold on. Let me just line this up. Uh, uh, oh God, I'm freezing to death. Oh <laughs> shit. Jeffrey getting more action than Joe with his wife. All right, that's too far, man. Joe and Mule have a healthy marriage. Yeah, don't, all you Jeffrey haters, don't be jealous. Just cause Jeffrey pulls. <laughs> Man, all Jeffrey had to do was come in here and start pulling. Now everybody's team Jeffrey. I'm a, I might be freezing to death actually. I don't know how close I am to like dying to that right now. We are freezing to death though. Oh, you succumb to exposure. Oh, okay, yeah, I was very close to freezing to death, I guess. Oh. Once all the action had settled, we reported back to General Tullius. General Tullius, good news. Taking control of the rift was a great victory. Um, well, we captured the rift already. Now that we have Winterhold, I can garrison some troops there until I'm ready to march on Windhelm. Oh. I have come... I am hereby elevating you to the rank of legate. Let's go, we're a legate. On behalf of the Empire and myself, please accept this gift along with your new rank. Ebony armor? You've little time to glory in your accomplishments. We're gathering our final assault on Windhelm. Report to our camp in East March. Oh, look at that. We're looking, we're looking nice. <laughs> yeah, ebony armor, but we got the imperial boots and gloves still. I can't help it, man. The boot loot has been dry. With our conquest quickly approaching Windhelm, we took a carriage to Riften to head for our next orders. Oh my god, there's more bears. There's, th there's three bears! Oh my god, Jeffrey! Dude, why is Riften full of bears? Jesus, we need to clean this place up. Miko's 1v3-ing bears! Miko, we're coming! Oh my god, Feindall, don't walk in front of my- Stop! Stupid elf. Oh. Okay. Why are there- Why is there a pack of three bears ten feet outside of Riften? This place is so horrible. Alright, come on, Jeffrey. Let's ride. And if I see three bears hunting in a pack, I'm going to run past them this time. Hello, Leggett. We're now of equal rank. Something to report? Um. The general and I, have our I report that I've arrived. Your objective is the enemy held fort. That fort is as good as ours, Leggett. Jeffrey? Jeffrey. <laughs> Quit trying to get an early start. 
You can't meet the men without me. Ah, yes. We're not meeting the men today, actually. We're joining the men. That honestly sounds less fun. So there's a dragon. And there's a saber cat down to the bottom left, too. This place is so dangerous. Oh, shit. There's another saber cat. Jeffrey, run into the boiling water. There's another saber cat. Oh my god, we left bear country and entered the saber cat zone. Oh, wait, nope, still bear country. Oh my god! Jeffrey, you need to book it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rob this dragon blind while he's out fighting bears. Oh, come on, Jeffrey. We gotta hurry. The dragon could come back at any minute now. Oh. Pardon me, excuse me. Don't mind me, Mr. Dragon. He sounds like he's having fun back there. I hear a lot of slamming happening over there. Hmm. Scroll of Conjure Shelter Greater. Creates a magic field with robust provisions that repels cold and rain for 24 hours. Oh, we got like a free house scroll. That's kind of sick. All right, Jeffrey. Let's leave before the dragon knows we robbed him. Oh my god, this mountain doesn't sound good on Jeffrey's knees. This area really does look like I'm playing Fallout. <laughs> Everything is brown. Well, it, it makes sense that it's a wasteland, because it's outside Windhelm. The Stormcloaks have turned it into a just festering pit. Greetings, men. It's time to take the fort. You guys ready? I'm not, I'm not going first. Come on. Come on. We got a fortress to capture. Put some put some pep in your step. Alright, I guess it's just gonna be me and the two guys that ran ahead. Oh, these two guys are ready though. He says, fire back, men! They're masters of the bow. This is hell, actually. <laughs> There's arrows flying everywhere. Um uh, there. Nope. There. No. There. Got him. What? What? It just spawned behind me? Where did that guy come from? I gotta go deeper in here. Oh, yeah, he straight up came out of the bushes. <laughs> that guy just standing up there with an axe. Oh, he deserved to die for that one. What? Okay, there's a lot of people in that bush, apparently. Why don't you come out of the bush again? See what happens. I know you're in there. <laughs> Don't lie. Where are the bush people? They want me to lower my guard. As soon as I look away, the bush people are going to come out. I just know it. There, oh, there they are. There's two of them. Escape. Kill the bush people. Oh my god, they're coming for me. There, that was an attempt on my life! Bow down, bushwoman. To the king. Oh, I've been defeated. That was pretty easy. Hey guys, he's trying to retreat. You can... Guys. This is... I'm pretty sure it's a war crime. Oh my god. What?! Oh my god, they sent a dragon! <laughs> Holy shit! What? It was on the verge of death! What? Okay then. <laughs> Free dragon loot, I guess. Having defeated all the Stormcloaks, including their malnourished dragon, we returned to camp and were met with big news. We're taking the city! Meet the soldiers gathering for the attack! Move it! We have a city to capture oh my god where's where's jeffrey hey you say jeffrey left us in our time of need i say he's already there waiting for us 1500 bits no bow i'll do it it'd, it'd feel more satisfying slicing ulfric open anyways the faded battle was finally upon us
As Joe approached the front gates, he clenched his sword tightly, the memory of Frost and the traitor Aaron burning in his mind. The battle ahead would not be easy, but no amount of Stormcloaks could save Ulfric from his judgment now. This was the battle for Windhelm. Go, man! Like, oh my god, why was there only one guard at the gate? They brought one soldier to guard the front gate? You Stormcloaks have taken too much from me. It's time for you to pay. Oh. I have a date with your leader. Out of the way. Where are they? Do they all retreat to hold the fortress? Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> we have to fight to the fortress. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The Stormcloak's strength is faltering. They brought their best archers for this hallway, though. Somebody... Somebody shoot them. Alright, I'm getting in there. Uh, move, damn you. Yes, leg it. You pathetic storm... I was gonna try and make a badass statement there. Sorry, let me try that again. You pathetic Stormcloak traitors. You took frost from me. Well, oh my god, I just walked through the barricades. You stay there, man. I have business with Ulfric. Okay. You Stormcloak bastard. Oh. That doesn't seem fair. Okay, fine. Come on, Mad. This guy's burning to death. Come on. We got Stormcloaks to kill. Oh, there's actually quite a few of them. Oh, Jesus. There's a firing squad around the corner. Oh, this is where they're hiding all the soldiers. They're in this corridor. Carve our way through. All right, make way, men. I'm coming in. Like a knife through a storm cloak. Oh my god. There's another firing squad. Come on, men. I need backup. Oh lord. I think I might have killed an Imperial. Good work, men. Oh my god, there's another one. I just quick saved in front of him. Come on! Oh, this is a tight ass corridor here. They got a lot of these in the city. I never really noticed that. It's a highly defensible position. Ow. <laughs> Nico and Feindal, uh couldn't make it here. They had a doctor's appointment. Out of the way. Storm blokes. Oh my god. Let me... Come on, let me in. I, I want to kill. Here we go. The line is broken. Okay. Yeah, every time Joe dies, it's um, actually him imagining what would happen if he did so. Oh my god! <laughs> None of these deaths are real. They're all his imagination. Oh, you want some? Okay, actually, you know what? Maybe you could have some from someone else? Okay. Yes, it's a very graphic <laughs> imagination. It's very, very paranoid and negative, too. Okay, we'll take it one quick save at a time. Oh, wait. The corridor is open! You fools! You should have never allowed me corridor access. Oh my god! Am I dying? What's happening? <laughs> In the deadly corridor of infinite enemy respawning, Joe imagined a million ways he could be defeated. And after 20 minutes of non-canonical deaths, he found one way in which he could survive.
Okay. Me versus you. 1v1, pal. Oh. Never mind, we got friends. Come on, I can see the gate! Quickly! Inside! We're starving! Secure the door. Jarl Ulfric. <laughs> Your time is now, Ulfric. You fools! <laughs> You've fallen for my trap! Now pay with your blood! Oh my god, Tolly has got launched! No! That's it. No more horsing around. I bought a special present just for you. Eat shit and die, Ulfric. I can't see. Well, Alfric, you can't escape from me this time. Any last requests? Make it a good deal. It'll make for a better song. I would gladly take this honor. Thank you, Tullius. I will slay you with the woodcutter's axe that I started with. Just know, you have been chopped down by Joe Joman. As Joe took his weekly bubble bath that night, he reflected on how far he'd come. He regained his favor with Kinnereth, and his greatest rival was slain at last. Now, there were no more obstacles between him and the throne. Joe Joman will be the High King of Skyrim.